You are live. We are live. Historically Haunted Vodcast welcomes everyone back um, to episode 11 of season one. With me today, um, we had two guests. One of them, unfortunately, family things happen. So Amanda um, Tabone will not be um, scheduled with us right now. But we do have um, her better half. Though, um, if she was here, I wouldn't say that. She'd slap me right through the thing. But we got Bill Tabone. Um, he's a good man, too. I um, mean, he's part of the Australian Paranormal Society as well. He does run Haunted, Old, and Beautiful uh, by Amanda APS. A lot of people know that page. Um, he runs that as well. So without further ado, Mr. Bill Tabone, how are you from Australia, my friend? Hey, buddy. How you doing? I'm good, my brother. I'm good. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, we won't dive into it, but Amanda just she's got some obligations. She's got some some stuff going on. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. So sure. uh, our feelings are with her. Our thoughts are with her. Um, what Thanks, time man. is it in Australia? I forget now. It's like noon. Uh, right? It's midday. It's midday. And uh, <laughs> so the funny thing, the funny thing is, I, I I had this thing in my head, and I, I looked up the times, and um, I messed up the time conversion, and I thought it was like supposed to be on at five a.m. So I set my alarm, I woke up, I got up, and then I looked at it again. I've gone, what the hell am I doing? I'm back to bed. <laughs> oh, no. That's what I was worried about. I was like, shoot. I'm like, I the time difference is definitely. Nah, no, uh, but it's all good. It's 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 midday here, so we're all good. Uh, how's the weather, man? It's 20 degrees and snowing here in Maine, in America. Really? Oh, no, it's, um, it, we're, we're in summer, but it's it's it hasn't been too too hot, really. It's um it's quite nice out at the moment. Oh. We're, um, we, we're, our, our, Temperature is different to you guys. We're sitting at around what we we'll say twenty five, which is a nice warm, warm day. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. During our measurements, but uh, yeah. Wow, very cool. I love that lingo, and I love when you call me mate. That's so cool. <laughs> no one else called me that. It reminds me of the Bushwhackers. You know, hey mate. No, it's a wrestling fan. They're from New Zealand, but that's it. And, and uh, you know, we we have a lot. Of, we have a lot of strange words. Like you know, another one for mate is cobber. We can call you cobber. So. <laughs> that's cool it's funny that you think it's weird because it's your own language but you you identify with american talk and of course art i do yeah yeah we're fucking on anyway america. omg and <laughs> teach fucking stupid i got a lot of friends in america i've been, I've been there twice actually i love i love the states man oh let's I talk about that states. where have you been yeah. my friend oh mate i um i spent um uh, some good friends of mine the kling brothers um i got to spend uh a fair bit of time in Gettysburg with uh, with Brad Kling, and um, that's uh, what a what a place, man! <laughs> I love oh, that that's so see, that's you know? that's cool. Being from yeah. Australia, born and bred, and not yeah. really having a dog in the fight when it comes to American history, but you can appreciate yeah. that, and that's and, and and the body count and everything. That's cool. Gettysburg is beautiful. I, I am uh, Gettysburg. I, I got um I got to spend uh, time in um, New York, uh, San Francisco, Alcatraz was great oh. um philadelphia i went to fort mifflin spent some time in there that was oh fun. my god you've been really? to like everybody's bucket list places oh, a place man, in america I'm, you've been up and kick ass I, I can't wait to get back there man and you know i spent uh san antonio as well hey brian this, um at the alamo and oh man i tell you oh. love it <laughs> oh yeah now you know what that means i gotta get you and a man to salem you gotta come to new england my neck of the woods and we'll tour oh, it I'm hanging out to get down there, man. It's um, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful part of the world. Beautiful part of the world. Yeah. Uh, very cool. I gotta ask. Um. Oh, so we got people popping in. Brian says hi. Brian Bullhouse says what's. Well, he says sup. That's see, that's American lingo instead of what's up or hi. Yeah. It's, uh, I know. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Kenneth Torres. He's a fellow member of the Warren Legacy Foundation. Uh, Chris McKennell's right. a grandson and Lorraine. He's uh, he's he's a good dude. He's in San Fran. Awesome. What is? Awesome. Yeah, very cool. Um, I gotta switch gears real quick and ask you what's. I gotta admit, I, I looked up a little bit of Australia, but there is actually a lot. What's your go-to for Australia places? I noticed Ooh. there's that one kingdom place. I can't remember the name of it, but it's said to be haunted. I tell you what, mate, Aradale Asylum. Ar Aradale Asylum in Ararat. Um, a friend of mine runs all the tours there, and I you I usually do a tour once a month there. It takes people through. Um, but I, I, I had a bit of a, with COVID, uh, it's been a bit hard and I had a bit of a workplace injury where I busted up my shoulder and oh. had a shoulder reconstruction not that long ago. So I haven't been able to do much, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, um, on the shelf. Yeah. Oh man. But that place is, is amazing. That's, that's like, you know, if you want to take somewhere where you're going to get some sort of activity, Aradale Asylum, mate. um, it was the biggest asylum in the Southern hemisphere when it was working 63 buildings. Massive location, 
just just outstanding. outstanding. Wow. Yep. Yep. That's a nice little thing. I don't know if you guys can see the link, but that's the link. You're the director of the Australian Paranormal Society. I don't know if that actually works, but it's yeah, on it's Facebook. Cute. I tried sharing the link. Um, wow, that's amazing. You and you know all about that place. That's, that's yeah. I, I actually wrote a book about it. So you're an so, author too. Oh, I'm lacking. Yeah. I didn't know that. You have no. Oh <laughs> no, no. Go back. Go back. Hold that there, right, for a second, please. This is this one here is a um. Oh, can I hold that up? This yeah, one perfect. Here is, is actually a, a collector's edition because when this. they when they designed the cover, they actually messed up and they put um they spelt asylum wrong. So uh, that's been fixed since, but um. But that's available on um, on Amazon. So, wow! Oh, oh, I didn't know you were an author, my brother. That you don't boast. That's cool. No, it's oh. a, it, it's um. You know what? It's it's. I collected a lot of my experiences over the years. Um, we spent a lot of weekends locked in there, so we used to spend you know from Friday to Sunday, and we, 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 we the, 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 the things that happen are just amazing, you know. And eventually, I thought I got to do something with this. So I got some of my friends that have had experiences. I put theirs in there as well, along with mine, and uh, most of mine, not all of them, and um, and uh, put that together. So it's you know some really good stories. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it sounds like you got a lot. You've collected them over the years, like you said. You've been doing this for a little bit too. Um, yeah. Well done. People in chat. <laughs> Betsy Betsy Brown Williams says, "What's going on?" She runs with the Searchers. There, Shane Pittman from the Holzer Files in them. Awesome. She's yeah. She's a pretty good supporter. She, oh, look at that. She wants an autographed book. <laughs> that's yeah. That's <laughs> hey, you know man, what? Don't, don't, it's true. Any She's fun. a super fan. I want an autograph book now too. We'll I, that's get, all we'll, I love we'll, to do is read. That's we'll cool. Get it if you want, I mean, you can get them off Amazon. But if you want autographs, send me send me a message, and we'll we'll get it organized, guys. So, not a problem. Oh, Please. what a sweetheart! I just want to go right through and just give him a hug. We were talking earlier about his beard is gray because he's a little oh. older than me, and he goes, "That's what you have to look forward to." I go, "I got a couple stragglers, but." That's it. <laughs> I like it. Looks good. Up. Good catch up. <laughs> <laughs> a gray hair for every ghost you've seen, right? Oh my! <laughs> There's been a few. <laughs> There's been yeah. a few. Um, yeah. Oh, let's see. I got a fellow veteran brother that served in the Australian Army. He's a commando. Lives in Brisbane, 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 Brisbane. which is in Queensland. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Cool. Very cool, Betsy. Yep. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Betsy. You're cool. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Um, we got about six people in chat. Thank you. We're talking to William Tabone of the Australian Paranormal Society. I'm going to switch gears real quick because I want to touch base on a lot of shit. And I got yeah, ADD, yeah. so I'm everywhere. Um, let's mm -hmm. talk about the page because that, honestly, dude, excuse me. You're right. Beer. <laughs> um, I, I've been doing this a long time, too, but yeah. I haven't been vocal about it for ever until about two three years ago and in about 2016 i discovered the haunted and beautiful page i think it was 2000 yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and the stuff that you guys post of course there's a couple of nice little memes and there's a nice little a picture of a bat or something cute but for, yeah. for a, a lot of things there's haunted asylums from around the world um that's where i learned about a lot more about lizzie borden gettysburg even just yeah. um old battles and stuff where do you guys find your content for that stuff do you research you know what like I said, Amanda does most of that. She's um she's the you know she looks after the pages, mate. She she's she's brilliant with that. And as I said to you earlier, she she she's self taught. She taught herself how to do all this stuff with um you know from scratch. And wow. um and wow and she's she's really switched on. Like haunted on beautiful. That's 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 her page. That's um that's Amanda's page. She she you know her articles. The way this girl thinks. You know I mean she's been experiencing the paranormal since she was tiny like she was three yes. and um whoa she's a medium um and and just really switched on with what she does uh, very humble in what she does as well so um uh, a lot of the things she does now is she works on um she works on a lot of cold cases um Ooh, okay provides details to the you know to the police force wherever wherever that may be whichever wow. talk yeah. about putting your gift to good use yeah, yeah, she's she's she she has um, she's been really focused on that for the you know for the last couple of years, but uh, especially the last six months, it's just been really intense. There's been a lot of communication. Wow, I gotta have her on my radio show. I'll have to have her back on, maybe on the book or something. You know what? She's 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 so she's so um quiet like that. But she when you when she gets on the radio, she just blows people away. Yeah, <laughs> she did she did a, she did a, another show a couple of months ago and um. 
you know, I didn't think she was going to say two words, but like, you know, the things that she, she was just so, so eloquent and just, ah, oh, coming um, up. Yeah. Even, I'm, mar I'm married to her, like, you know, but she still blows me away with her knowledge. Like, how, you know, how do you know that? You know, yeah. you're getting it wrong. You know, that's so, honestly, yeah. dude, like, I, people call me the historian ghost hunter. That's why I named it. But a lot of that I almost attribute to Amanda because she, the shit she posts and then oh, in God. comments or whatever, she's so, she's, it's not just a post. It's details. Yeah. It's this is this is this. Yeah. Is, you, you're really not left asking questions. And that's what I try to do in my post. By the time you're done reading yeah. my description, you don't have a yeah. question because I answered it for you, you know? That, and, that's, and that's that's true. That's absolutely true. And, you know, I I see your post and you, you're, you're absolutely right and correct, you know. And Amanda that. does, she likes to, she really likes to make sure that she gets a point across, if that makes sense. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's um, you know, she's a perfectionist of sorts with her craft, and that's amazing. Yeah. And you guys fit quite nicely, um, because you came in, and honestly, dude, like, I didn't know her at all, but I'm friends with Elliot and Nat ACG from Chicago, and right. they know Amanda, and I'm like, you know, fucking Amanda, I'm like, ah, it's like, it's like a Hollywood star to me. And then of course I get to meet you, and I get to follow you, and you're you are quiet, you don't post a super lot, you're a lot family oriented, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, but um. Yeah. But uh, I had to have you guys on. You're like, well, it's just gonna be me, and I'm like, I don't care, brother. We'll wrap. So yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, man. You know, it's just yeah, things. No, things no, happen. don't be sorry. I'm glad you came yeah. on. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, we got a, a question that's not really paranormal. Is right. is is weed legal there? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not at the moment. But but you know what? I, I there's there's a lot of beliefs, you know, and I I I don't think it's that bad. I think it should be legal. But yeah, um, do you guys you know, call it over there? What do you guys call sorry? it? Do you call it weed, marijuana? Weed, weed yeah. grass, green, whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, it, it helps a lot of people, um, you know, even with illnesses. You know what I mean? I'm talking about cancer, you know, that sort of stuff. Yeah. You know, um, so, you know, if it can help someone feel better, it's 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 a good thing to me. You know, and, and it's less, to me, I believe it's less um, destructive than, say, alcohol. Do you know yeah. what I mean? yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love I love my beer to one wine, but I'm not gonna go drive after. But I can smoke wow. a joint and be like, I'm going to the store to get a pizza because I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, Betsy, uh, for your information, I'm listening, but packing for two upcoming events. Ooh, well, awesome. hey, awesome. many blessings to you. Stay safe, um, William. I gotta ask you. You guys go go ahead and say hi in chat too. Feel free. I'll bring you on. Uh, William, what do you do for an investigation? What what do you prepare? What's your ritual? Do you charge all your stuff up and yep. have a good meal yep. and all that stuff? For sure, for sure. I, I tend to, um, obviously, you know, we, we do a lot of planning, as, as anyone does. We, 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 you know, where we're going, et cetera, how to get there. We make sure we're safe. We check weather conditions. We check road, you know, conditions. Um, equipment's all charged. Uh, previously, get everything packed. Make sure we got everything checked. Get the checklist out. Check everything. Um, make sure we're, you know, we've got the essentials, you know, hydration and, you know, uh, um, snacks and things like that, <laughs> yeah. um, just in case. Um, I tend not to, I tend not to eat too much before an investigation. I find, um, for me, it's like, um, it's like when, you know, uh, as a build up, um, it's like, yeah. um, it's like, you know, you, you have this build up in you for this investigation and the energy. So I tend to eat, if I eat, I try to tend to eat a little bit light so that I'm not over, you know, over, you know. That's like, yeah, I gotta, yeah. I'm the same way because I'll eat after. I'll have like a nice yeah, meal after. Exactly. Afterwards, I'll eat, I'll eat, I'll eat everything, you know. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> See, he does so. <laughs> no, I'm the same way. It's like almost like because yeah. I used to sing in a band like locally, but even that's nerve wracking, and I almost get nervous. And even before my shows, I get nervous. Like, oh, my t-shirt looked good. How's the poster look? You know, I just get a little. And I don't yeah, think I think you know. Yeah. For, for, me, for me, even now, I mean, I, I've been I've been investigating for a long time, and you know, even now before an investigation, I still get that little nervous feeling um but um you know once that's done i'll make sure what once we're into it it's it i like to have a joke i like to muck around and all that sort of stuff but while we're in the investigation it's business you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. <laughs> business down the line you know and um you know respect and to the to the location to the spirits to anything that's there um and and just try to gather as much evidence as we can you know as, yeah. As, yeah yeah 
No, that's the way to do it. I think if if you go in with the – like you said, it's, it's time for fun and jokes and Facebook and, and selfies. Like people, go, people go to me, they go, well, you don't really investigate. You just take selfies. I go, I don't take pictures when I investigate. When I, well, I do, but I don't share it on Facebook. It's my evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, I take exactly. a selfie when I leave or when I get there, but I don't go in. Go, I mean, I did a couple times on St. Albans, but for the most part, like you said, and I appreciate that, uh, Bill, is that you kind of – you really do, right? Because you don't want to go in like, like – a Hollywood guy. Exactly. To me, getting nervous shows you're still humble. That means you have yeah. passion. Yeah, uh, you know, it's 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 like anything. I mean, is you know, I think I think you know, you need to have that anticipation um, on anything you do, whether it be an investigation, whether it be an interview, whether it be a radio show. You know, there needs to be that anticipation that you know, and that keeps you that keeps you on edge. That gives you the edge, so you're not, as you said, you're not you're not getting ahead of yourself. You're not getting too big, you know, you know what I mean? It's, yep. um, you try to keep, keep, keep humble. You try to keep you know, grounded and yeah. that little bit of nerves, I mean, makes you act, um, appropriately. Yeah. That That's a good way to put it. It almost yeah. puts everything else in perspective. Yeah. Too. It kind of reels everything in. People are still talking about weed. Weed is the, yeah, I can say that. <laughs> uh, oh, there's my girl, which and uh, Heather came in the witch and life guide show. That's my girlfriend, Heather. Um, yep. if the households could have cocaine in the 1940s, she says, Hi, Heather. Um, <laughs> have have weed. Weed. Exactly. <laughs> um, oh, cool, Brian. Leave it to my boy, Brian. He's got a question for you, Will. Yep. Uh, what type of evidence do you normally capture? Um, and do you have certain gear that you prefer to use? And you uh, can shrimp on the barbie. On the barbie. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guy. Actually, actually, I made I made shrimp pasta on Friday night, so it was coming Ooh. up really nice. Um, <laughs> ah, <laughs> shrimp risotto. Um, yes. <laughs> um, I love me a barbie, by the way. Um, now, yeah, evidence. I I really love. Yeah, for me, any evidence is good. Any, anything we can capture that little nugget, that little um, anomaly, you know, that comes up, is great. Whether it be um, audio, visual. Um, your video, photo, whatever. Um, I love it. My my big focus, um, what I really love is I love the EVPs. I love to hear. Um, I, I love to hear their voices or their what they have to say. You know, rather yes. than just like, does that make sense? You no, know, yeah, they, I like got, it better than the pre-programmed uh, things. The things that shoot out words like "boy" or "small." I want to hear the yeah. ghost talk. I don't want to hear you want to hear the operator. Yeah, you want to hear the voice. You know, that's what I do anyway. Um, uh, equipment, equipment-wise, um, for myself, when I'm just doing an investigation, <clears throat> excuse me, I only take a, a camera, a video camera, um, and, and a voice recorder. I don't use anything else. Um, I think, you know, when you when you start off, you want all this gear. You want every, all the lights and buzzers and machines that go bing and bang and whatever. Right. But as you... It cost dollars, right? And I've got all that. So when I run a public investigation, we've got all this gear and we can show people how it works and they're fascinated by it, which is interesting, which is great because you know they are interesting and they're 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 you know it's something different to what their normal, you know, that they have in their normal lives. But as you know yourself, when you get a lot yeah, you know, further along, you just want to <laughs> you just want I, I just need the basics, you know. That, I use my that's... Yes, because because these people that come on the tours, I didn't mean to cut you off, but that's that's no, what I'm a big right. believer in. Because I love the old school dude. Me and Heather will sit in the fucking room for like an hour with just literally a recorder and exactly. camera to take pictures. But but yeah. people that don't do it often, they want the beep 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 RPMs. They want the whoa. They exactly. want the stick figures dancing because it's exactly the show. exactly the weekend warriors. Exactly. I call them. <laughs> exactly. but, <laughs> but like you say, after a while, you've got a case and you're juggling it. Oh, I didn't charge that. I didn't. Char in the yeah. whole time, you're missing you're the investigation. Seeing. Yeah, exactly. I'll tell you a quick story if you got got a second. Uh, in the in Aradale Asylum, I was um I had um, some investigators with me from other groups, and we we're taking them through, and they all had their gear gear out. Even my guys, they had their gear out. They were looking at these, um, you know, whatever they were, nanometers and you know, ovalus and whatever. So I. <laughs> I, go, I get the shits on, you know, because uh, pe people, uh, they're not looking at the environment. They're missing so much. And I said to them, right, stop for a minute. And I had my back to this line of windows. I said, stop for a minute, put your gear away and just stand here. We're going to listen and we're going to look. And so there's a bunch of them standing in front of me. There's some standing over there. And there was a lot of light coming in from the moon in the back. And I could see these guys' faces. And I'm standing there and we're just listening. <clears throat> and <laughs> their faces, they, they their faces drop. They go this you know and i said okay they've seen something 
So I, I said, all right, what did you, what did you guys see? And there's all these ones, there are about six of them, a couple of my own blokes. Something walked behind me, crossing the windows. <laughs> right? And and it was a it was a, a girl in a in a, a hospital gown, basically, or you know, that sort of thing. Now the timing was just impeccable, you know, to make them put this gear away. Because if they had been down in their faces, they would not have seen that. You know what I mean? So yeah. for me, the, the it's, timing was just, just amazing. You know what I mean? It's and the virtual like, reality oh, generation, man. They want to see yeah. shit. Those are the same people that go to a concert to see Ozzy Osbourne and fucking look at their phone and record it instead of just yeah, looking at exactly. the stage. Exactly. How much are you missing? You know, I mean, how much are people missing when they're looking at the gear? I'm not saying the gear is bad. You know, gears gears can be good. You know, but I mean, but fuck the obelisk. <laughs> But, but, but like you say, it's not only to me. I mean, I get it. Like they, they feast, but for all you know, the ghost is there tap dancing, and you're looking at your screen trying to get something. And the ghost it. is like fucking hello. Like, exactly. The ghost is going look here. <laughs> you know, it's it's, it's it, it, you miss so much because you know you 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 you're taking your senses from here and you're putting them into this little device. You know, yeah. put the device away or, or or have a static camera watching it. You know, let it record. And be, be present in the in the, in the environment. Yeah, I love that. That is, I get worked up. But that is perfectly said because I get more. I'm just like, use your fucking ears and eyes. Use your senses. Go, exactly. <laughs> but you're very. You've got a good point. And look, like, I'm not dissing equipment, and I get it. I just, oh, like, I've seen people that go, oh, whoever's got the most toys. Like, oh, come the fuck on, guys. Peacock <laughs> contest now. You know what I mean? Like, okay, yeah, you've got exactly. things that go boop, Egon Spangler. Whoa. Yeah. Like, tell me yeah. this, though. Nine out of ten people that see a ghost aren't people with shit looking for ghosts. The people at home laying in bed reading yeah. a book going, oh, my God, a ghost. They're not yeah, sitting yeah. at home with RPM meters and shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It, you know what? It's 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 to me. It's the spirits all have free will. So when they want to show themselves, they will. You know what I mean? When the person's mind is in the right position or in the right um, state, they they'll, they'll pick up something. You know what I mean? Yeah. It also it's also vision. Like you know, we, we the peripheral vision picks up more than the front vision. Yeah. You know, so people will catch things. You know, as well. Yeah. So And it depends on you know. As I said, you're focusing. You know, maybe they're focusing looking at their book. And they see that they see this movement, you know. So they, they look over. Um, it's you know, it all comes down to you know timing, you know timing, and, and whether the spirit wants to show itself. You know what I mean? They, they have free will, unless yeah. unless it's a residual haunting, you know, where you're just getting a playback. As you know, you know, you you've got something that's intelligent, something that will show when it wants to show. It's like, I, well, I think too, like nine out of ten times. Like I'm picturing a ghost, and you get this thing sweeping area. If yeah, yeah. I'm the ghost, I'm like, fuck this. I'm going next door yeah. to hunt. This, to me, that's annoying. And I think if I was the ghost, yeah. I'm not going to play. And what are you going to get going? Bird. <laughs> you said bird. Like what? The what does that prove? I don't know. I'm not going to know. know. I know. Uh, people and, love that shit. Oh, here we go. A question from Brian again. Do you think spirits can be omnipresent all over at the same time? I think they can move around at free will. I think in a lot of cases, in some cases, I think they're stuck more so to do with their psyche, with the way they think. But um, I think they can move from great distances uh, instantly. Yep. Um, I don't think they're on the, I don't think they're ever at the same time, but I think they can move great distances. Um, uh, uh, it, uh, yeah, pretty much instantly. So, yeah. You think there are any that are stuck at a certain place or just choose? Yeah, yeah. I think I think they I think that some are. Um, as I said, I think that's more to do with their psychology. Um, you know, they 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 feel they're bound or they feel they're they're locked there for some reason or they're obliged to be there, and maybe that's why they stay there. I don't think necessarily that they're physically stuck there, um, but maybe they do. Maybe they do feel the boundaries of the building are are holding them there, and that's why they they can't move through. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. I love it, dude. You are like, wow, what a great guest. I love it. I, I'm, I love it. I'm like, I'm so glad you guys said yes because, man, you were nailing it. Um, I'm trying to keep <laughs> up in chat. I'm sorry if I keep looking away. People are blowing up in chat. Uh, Nicole, no, that's all right. That's good. Nicole Gaspar is very cool. She runs a radio show called Real Haunted Connections on Paranormal oh. King, and she's yep. a, she's a fellow author. She lives. She's actually lives right by the Queen Mary, and she's been oh, to Alcatraz. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. you were just talking to Cole. You're coming in late, but he's been to Alcatraz and shit. He's from Australia, but um, 
Has anything ever followed you or Amanda Holm that you know of? Yeah, we well, scratch my we back. do um, we do spiritual protection as well as you know we ground ourselves before, during, and after, and do all that sort of stuff. All the new age, you know, stuff, or which is not really new age, which is old, <laughs> you know. Um, but um, I have had. Um, I remember I, I did an investigation once in, at a house, and I had some uh, so called experienced investigators with me. And I decided we, okay, well, after our investigation, we're going to cleanse this house. This poor girl was getting harassed pretty badly. And I had a side table on a bed stuck. I called it walking because it was rocking back and forth, moving moving forward. And um, I'm, I'm, I, I, I've, because, because I've done a lot of this, I've seen this, and I, I kept going. These people panicked. You know, right? So I ended up finishing it, getting them outside, and I said, right, I'll give you as a, you know, we'll ground and we'll do a cleansing. And I've done all that and I didn't cleanse myself. I didn't I didn't ground myself. I grounded everyone else. And um, typical. I went, <laughs> yeah. And I brought something with me and I, I, I had a, well, I felt like I got hit with an axe. And for three days, I couldn't get out of bed. Uh, doctors, saw doctors, they couldn't tell what it was. They thought I had a virus, trying to give me medications and such. I ended up getting, because um, uh, Amanda was a bit close to me. To, to you know, sometimes when you're close to people, it's hard. Yeah. So I pulled in one of our other mediums, and he said, "Yeah, there's some stuff on you. Gave me a cleansing, and and I come good immediately. Um, I was drained, wow. but come good. But that was probably the worst one. Um, wow, I've heard a pair of hangovers, but that's three days. Oh, three man, days. You, it, it, felt like, it felt like I got hit with an axe right in the back of the head, and it was just, it was just, it was horrible. Yeah. Wow. But I mean, important. Like Lizzie Borden took you up. <laughs> My girl uh, Heather says that's scary, Bill. Yeah, Heather's a sensitive. She's a medium, and she yep. she kind of feels that stuff. But but as you it's, know, you don't have to be a medium to, to really. If you go oh, to a place, you you're just yeah. as liable. These people don't know they do these weekends and shit, and go, oh, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's you're playing with fire. Sometime, I mean, I'm not I'm not a medium. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a medium. Um, I walk into a place, and you know, I can sense certain things like anyone can. You know, you know, when you walk into a bar and you know, hey, this doesn't feel right. I shouldn't, yeah. I shouldn't be here. You know, yeah. um, or I walk in, oh, geez, this feels awesome. Like I feel like I'm home. You know what I mean? It, yeah, it is different. That's what I get. Um, so you're but, an empath, yeah, probably. You're, you're kind of a sensitive, maybe an empath, or just you're just open to your your senses. I guess some people don't they ignore their senses. Yeah, I think it's I think it's more that I'm open to my senses and maybe the experiences I've had that uh, allow me to feel these things. Um, but you're right. You know, it is a dangerous thing, and people people think it's a joke. People think it's a it's a game. And you know, I mean, I've seen people, you know, I've, I've seen people hit really bad. And um, um, one of my own guys, <clears throat> great investigator, great guy, but he wasn't right into the protections and all this sort of stuff. So, <laughs> so we were um, we were doing a session. I had a friend of mine from England over, and we set up this investigation at the the asylum, and we we're in the men's infirmary. And I had my friend uh, Ragnar, his name is, big, big dude, big bodybuilder dude, real gentleman, real nice guy. And he's in the corner and he's filming what this guy was doing. And I'm watching him and he's like he's being pushed back into the wall like this. And I go, what's he doing? I walked over and said, you're all right. He goes, yeah, I can't use my legs. <laughs> I said, oh, oh yeah. my God. He goes, he goes, I can't, I can't move my legs. So I had my son with me. My son, um, all my all my kids are involved except the youngest one at the moment. But um, um, this son I had with me is a big boy, right? So we grabbed him one arm over the shoulder and we literally dragged him out with his legs behind. Got him outside and I done a cleansing on him. <laughs> and uh, he said, "I don't know what happened." He goes, I, "My legs would not. I could not move my legs, and something was pushing him." He felt something pushing him. I mean, he didn't panic. You saw it too, though. You saw, saw him on a shift. That's what made him go over there. Yeah. And I thought, and he, he, yeah, he goes, I wasn't scared. He goes, I was experiencing, like, you know, this sort of teach them, that, that, you know, don't panic, um, experience, go with the experience sometimes. Um, but anyway, got him out, sat him down, <clears throat> done a cleanse, and he come good. Um, and, but now he, he knows more about how to, protect himself spiritually he wants to know more about how, you know well yeah so, yeah, yeah 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 yeah, and I, people, I, yeah that that'll turn you that'll <laughs> that'll turn you real quick you think what you think but you know this was and this guy's straight down the line like you know i know him and you know 
you spirits have to slap him in the face for him to believe that it's a spirit, you know. Yeah. So for this, the this reaction, I knew he'd experienced something. You know, what I mean? it was it yeah. was, it was yeah. good, it, it was bad, but it was good. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. I, yeah, because it didn't hurt him enough, but it made him enough enough to respect it and go, okay, whether it it's him, age or whatever, I'm gonna, I'm exactly, gonna exactly, exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Holy moly. Especially the big dudes. I know I work with some big dudes in Maine. Oh, yeah. like, oh graveyard. Oh, so scary. I'm like, okay, motherfucker. Let's go and shut the lights <laughs> off. You know, they all say, oh, horror movies aren't shit. Go watch it alone in the bedroom and try to sleep. You know, it's always exactly. okay when there's a crowd. But go yeah. alone. I've, I've been. And you will see shit. If you want yeah. to, the spirits will be like, what's up? You want to dance? Let's go. And then you you, you know real quick who wants to play. I've seen people run out of investigations. Oh, I'm me sure too, you. mate. You know, like, you know, and, and it's the big tough guys that do it, that do it a lot of the time. You know, <laughs> you know it's, um, it's uh, you know, it's, it's you know, like yourself, you go into it. You said you go into a, you know, somewhere, a graveyard or, you know, building that's haunted. Go on your own. Yeah. It's a lot oh, different. Bet- <laughs> yeah, it is. Betsy had an attachment. Um, she saw it happen last night. Oh, I didn't know Betsy. Wow. Um, okay. Betsy's from Arkansas. Uh, yeah, Arkansas. Dude, Betsy actually babysat Chelsea Clinton, Bill Clinton's daughter. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. we know Betsy really well. My girlfriend video chats with her every day. She lives in Colorado now. She's yeah, very right. yeah, yeah. Image. she wants a signed book, dude. Seriously, she's gonna keep messaging you. Yeah, she's a fan. Fine. No worries. Um, for the hey, can you hold it up again for those of you tuning in late? Um, William Tabone is an author of The Ghost of. Uh, Ar- Arendelle, Arendelle was home. Asylum, and that's it. Uh, that's a very, very haunted place in Australia. It is. It is. Yeah. Well, while I'm plugging books, I'm going to plug Amanda's books. Oh, hold on. Otherwise, she'll punch me up. We got. Who is that? From a mind of a medium, by Amanda APS. That's all her medium, like you know her, her teachings and things like that, or part of them. We've got volume two coming out, and her personal experiences. That's from from childhood through being a nurse, etc. So, um, ghosts, personal experiences from a haunted life by Amanda APS. <laughs> so, there you go. I've done my plug. <laughs> I'm gonna say she'll be a happy girl, dude. That is yeah. um, for those of you that don't know. The first book he held up for her. That's the cover of Haunted and Beautiful on Facebook. Yeah, I recommend yeah. it. I can't invite people anymore for some reason. It just says share. So go like. Uh, and obviously, Australian Paranormal Society, too. You guys are doing great stuff over there. But Thanks, I man. tell you, I've been a fan and following Amanda's page for got to be three or four years. I'm like a little teeny bop fan. I'm like, oh, <laughs> well, I don't have ever on the radio show because it's just I love you know she's, all she's the great. Info. She's great. You know, like, you know, it's it's the knowledge that pops out of her head, mate. Like, you know, the things she comes up with is completely outside what, you know, normal, normal understanding, the normal thought patterns. You know, Not for me. I got ADD and OCD and shit. She's yeah. right up with me. I'm like, whoa. So I got, I got a bucket list and I go, I got a bucket list and I read off Amanda's shit. Okay, add that to it. I don't know. The, that's how I learned about the Hinsdale house. That's how I learned yep. about, um, uh, I just forget, one of the places in Gettysburg. Or, yep. Which, yep. Oh, yep. let's swing back around. When did you go to Gettysburg last? Oh, it's been, uh, my boy was 13. It's not, probably about five years, six years now was the last time. Um we, we, we investigated um, uh, Jenny Wade House, uh, the old uh, National Soldiers Museum, which I don't think is there anymore. It's the orphanage, the old orphanage. Um, <clears throat> the Fairfield Inn, uh, which is just outside Gettysburg. I mean, I had experiences there, like, during the day. I was We were at um, yeah. Pickett's Charge, and I'm walking along, like, there's a little walkway. And I had people way up in front and people back where the vehicles were, and I heard these two men behind me. I was filming, and I heard these two men behind me. So I step off the path to let them go, and there's no one there. <laughs> like you know, little things like that. You know, um, uh, we've had some amazing experiences. Um, I tell you, Gettysburg, dude. Like five thousand people died in like what three days there or some shit. Oh, fifty thousand um, dead, uh, dead missing or um, or uh, yeah, injured. <laughs> you know knows more about it than I do, and I'm yeah, no, crazy. It was, it was. Um, yeah. It was wow. insane. When you look, when you look at the way the battle happened, you know, there's it's such a big area, so so much. And what people don't, a lot of people don't understand is the town itself is the battlefield as well. That's you right. Know, so, well, yeah. Where's the battlefield? They go, you're standing in it. You're in it's Gettysburg. Gettysburg. This is just you know, the downtown, but this was a fucking field 300, 800 years ago. They're yeah. still finding bone fag fragments and fucking yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. bullets. 
for sure. But they were fighting door to door as well. Like, you know, Jenny Wade was the only civilian killed in, in the in the Gettysburg conflict. The and they reckon they say the, the sharpshooter shot from Farnsdale House uh, Farnsworth House, you know. So you go there, you see Farnsworth House, it's all bullet hole. It's got all the bullet marks in it. I know yeah. that. I didn't know it was from Farnsworth. I know that she, for those of you who don't know, she was baking bread for some Union soldiers. Is Correct. that right? And yeah, she's well, the only the civilian soldiers. casualty, I believe. Yeah, the only civilian death. Um, and I, I was lucky enough, um, the first time I was there, um, one of the people that run the tours there um, knew Brad, and they got us to go in, and we were able to go up the top into the into the attic to see where the sharpshooter's nest was. <sighs> So yeah, yeah. So that's like seeing where a guy that shot Kennedy was, dude. Holy shit! Pretty much. Pretty much. It's um, like, you know, it's it's great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Real quick, Nicole wants to know if we can get any of those books on Amazon. You can get them all on Amazon. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you go on and if you want, you can send me a message, and I'll send you the links if you want. But otherwise, uh, search them up, and they're all on Amazon. Awesome. Yeah. Nicole's an author too. She just had a book signing, so that's very cool. Awesome. Awesome. I love having authors on there. I, I want to write myself, and I just I start doing it because I've been to a lot of places. I've been to Stephen King's yeah. so many yep. places. How hard yep. is it to write a book? I'm going to ask you this as a person to person. Is it <laughs> for me? For me, it was really um, I had pretty much everything in note form anyway, so I was able to put it together in an order that I liked, and then just write it. Simply just expand on my notes. Um, I've actually written. I've got another book, three quarters written. And Ooh. I've got, and I've got one nearly finished, which is um, <clears throat> that I'm working on. But um, I've had a lot of time, obviously, because I haven't been able to go to my normal day job. So I've had a lot of time, um, which is good. So the the one of the books is actually about my. Um, I, I do a walking tour of my um, capital city. Oh, um, okay. Tour. So it's about the CBD, the Central Business District, all the haunted locations there, so haunted Melbourne, basically. And um, and that's um, that's really interesting too because for such a, a young country, there's a lot of activity. There's a lot yeah. of well, – Melbourne's yeah. a big one for sure. I mean, even – I know Sydney. Um, you guys need to come here from Cali, not from Queen Mary, like Adam says. Actually, no. Well, well he has Nicole. Oh. I didn't even late. He's been to Cali. You've been to Alcatraz and shit. You've been to the Whaley oh, House. Yeah, I've been. I've been to San Fran. I didn't get. To, I didn't get to LA or any of that sort of those sort of places. Um, I spent a couple of days in in San Francisco. I really, just do um, Angel Island and uh, Alcatraz. And I really am dying to get back there. But I want to take bring the family. I want to bring all the kids. This yeah, time. hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, Gettysburg, mostly residential haunts or the intelligent haunts. I say 50 50. I've been to Devil's yeah. Den and yeah. to the main where my guy, uh, Chamberlain, yeah. has been the main regiment. And yeah. I heard gunshots and I looked at the guy that was there and I go, Oh, there's gun. You guys doing exhibits today? Yeah, he goes, no, that's all the time. I go, yeah. Wow. I've heard, I've heard, I heard, I heard a couple of gunshots myself um, when it was the Devil's Den there. So, yeah. But I, we stayed we stayed in the Fairfield Inn, which is just outside of Gettysburg, mm -hmm. and it's actually one of the locations where the Confederates put their dead and dying when they were retreating. Um, we got there um, the first time I went there. We got there. Um, it was only it was Brad, um, his wife, and myself, the only people in the buildings. So I'm I'm lying on a day bed, sleeping on a day bed, and there's a door that goes into their bedroom, and I'm so excited, like you know, just to be in this location first. You know, it's like my second day in, in the US. Can't sleep. And then I hear these footsteps, heavy boots. Walk in the room, walk past me, walk through the door. And I thought, oh, that's so, that's really cool. Like, you know, brilliant. And still lying there. About half an hour later, I hear drums. Right? You know, marching All the drums. war drums, a little snare drum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> If you know Fairfield, Fairfield is tiny and it's dead quiet, you know. But it's right on Gettysburg's there. shoulder. I mean, all the towns yeah. around Gettysburg all played parts. They had to come in somehow. Exactly. They didn't have fucking planes back then. Exactly. So, you know, this is like three o'clock in the morning, three thirty in the morning. <sighs> Which and an then, hour. Um, and then I heard two ladies having a conversation. Right now, we're the only ones in the building. Right. So, um, anyway, the next morning we get up, we go down to breakfast, and. Um, Brad says to me, is, "Did you come in my room last in the room last night? Because you got to go through the room to go to the bathroom." And I said, <coughs> "No, mate, no, I didn't." He said, "Because oh, I heard someone walk in into the room, which is 
at the same around the same time that I heard. And he said, then I looked up and I actually saw a man standing there with a beard. And he goes, I thought it was you. I said, no, it wasn't me, but it wasn't me. <laughs> no, they all had big beards like us back then. That's what that was. There were men, you know what I mean? Everyone had beards. That's it. Wow, so, that's amazing. Yeah, that was just one of the things. I mean, we had um, we, we we captured an EVP on um, on the stairs. Uh, we did this thing called a shout out, and um, you know, made a lot of noise, and then re- recorded. And you hear this soldier, or I assume it's a soldier in a southern with a southern accent, say, "Did you hear that, Captain?" You know, so it's like they they couldn't see us, but they could hear us. Um, oh my God, goosebumps! Yeah. Dude. <laughs> goosebumps! Yeah. I tell you, actually, <laughs> Gettysburg. <laughs> you can't go to Gettysburg without hearing or feeling. I mean, people. When I brag oh. about Gettysburg, because I've been three times, yeah. it's still yeah. not enough. I could no. literally live there. It's I could. It's, yeah, I could I could spend a lot of time there. Actually, the next time I go, I would like, I'd like to spend a full week, you know, and and um, you know, to, yeah, just really spend some time properly probably going around. I mean, I spent the last time I think we were there, we spent four days there. But I mean, I'd like to have um, my own car because I didn't have my own car then; I was being driven. Oh yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, it was great. It was great. I saw yeah. so much. Did so much, but I'd like to have my own car so I could go where I want to go. Yeah, yeah. Saks yeah. Bridge, Jenny Wade House, the battlefield, the Guinea, oh, yeah. um, the, the, the yeah. soldier. I mean, the, like you say, you can literally, it's like a Disney World for paranormal investigators. Oh, it is, <laughs> it is. I mean, it's there's a lot of commercial stuff, but you know, you've got to push that oh, aside and look what, what the history is, what's behind it, and why it's why there's so much commercial stuff, you know, because it is such a great location. Yeah. You got to admit, when you walk, drive and you see those old wooden fences, oh man, oh, and you just you see the covered bridge. <laughs> I get yeah, this, brother. Yeah, oh, yeah. fucking a. Next time you come, feel, next time you come to America, you got to look me up. We got to get oh, together for a round. A pint, absolutely, episode. absolutely, brother. Absolutely. Um, okay, hold on. Uh, good evening from Washington State. Wow, actually, uh, the beer I'm good drinking, evening. Elizen Brewing, is in Seattle, Washington. So kudos, my friend. <laughs> Thanks, John, for coming aboard. Um, hey, thanks, John. Cheers. What part of Cali are you in? I'm from Central Cali. Well, you know, he visited Cali. He's actually in Australia, unless you're talking to someone else, Brian. <laughs> um, anything in Sydney? Sydney's a big music city. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of this uh, in Sydney. There's a lot of places. Um, I, 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 a friend of mine runs uh, tours at like um, uh, a couple of the jails there and a few locations there. I've got a few people that run tours there. Um, there's quite a lot of. Um, yeah, history. I mean, it was it was where um, they first landed in Australia, the first colonies, etc. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's uh, there's a place called the the Rocks, which is um, where they first stepped onto the land, um, or when they for, for the first settlement. Um, there, there's some, um, and there's a lot of sh- buildings around there, old buildings, and it was a pretty rough area at one stage. And they they do a tour there, and there's a lot of you know activity there apparently um yeah a lot of the jails uh there's a couple of old asylums there's one old asylum um right near the bay which is uh called Callum park and um i did some filming there with a friend of mine um uh has a company called moonlight media and they do like um uh, paranormal investigator series in Tenebris, different different shows and we were filming for one of them there and <laughs> I I wandered off at two o'clock in the morning. They were still filming, and I, I didn't have to do anything. I was like me. Are you just do, doing your own tour? <laughs> yeah, so I've gone for this walk, and I walked up to this building, and they were telling me earlier that they couldn't get into this building, but they when they were in there, they've actually seen big water containers full of water being thrown across the room, wow. and things like this, right? And so I've walked up to go and have a look in this in this building, and I actually felt something grab my wrist. And, and pull me away, right? So there was nothing there. And it actually led me back to a path where you pass the building before I let go. So I don't know whether it was a spirit guide or there was something there that didn't want me, knew there was maybe something bad there. I'm not too sure. Whoa. But this, this experience was, was, it was completely physical. Like, you know, I could feel the fingers. I could feel the hand. It touched you. Me. Yeah. yeah. And, and, actually, and actually physically moved me. Um, is it still open? Uh, not that I know of. It was was closed then too. Um, it's um, you can go and walk around the outside. Uh, I don't know whether they do tours there. I I I can't tell you that. 
Wow. Yeah, that, that sort of thing is, you know, it's, it's, it's some good sites there too. Yeah, definitely. And that's that's kind of like the Plymouth Rock of Australia. Like we as soon as well, you said that, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah, that. Yeah. I love history regardless. I know I'm American, but I come from Italy and Ireland back in my yeah. ancestor days, yeah. and I love history worldwide. So sure. that's where sure. Australia kind of founded on Sydney. On Sydney, yeah. Well, that's what it started. I mean, like, like yourself. I mean, my father was Maltese, you know, and um, wow, you know, and mum was Aussie, you know, like you know, so you had this European. European guy, you know, dark hair and a redhead, you know, with <laughs> and, and you know, I love the story because he's my mom goes, uh, she she didn't really like him, you know, and she said, uh, she said, uh, like I don't want to go out with him anyway. Six weeks later, they were engaged, you know. <laughs> um, he, he he said to her, he said they, they were going to a dinner dance in the back of his car, and he said, you know, I'm going to marry you, and she said, like hell, and. <laughs> You know, and then they got engaged. But so he was right, wasn't he? Yeah, Son of a bitch. They, they, the guy's always right. The girl's a smart ass. Oh man, I, I'm broken. You're trying to that. that, but that's fucking awesome. You know? but, oh, you know, are your parents? My, my, my dad was going to be a monk. He studied at a monastery for six years to be a Capuchin monk, and he used to sit with uh, with the uh, you know people that have died. He used to spend the night. They used to have someone sit with them, and he said, "I used to do that. And I used to study." Right, I'd switch, and all the others didn't like that. So he used to switch, like you know, cleaning the toilets to sit with a dead body. <laughs> and wow! Like, he said, to me, he always said to me, "Don't be afraid of the dead," you know. So, whoa, yeah. dude, your dad's a ghost hunter, so to speak. Your oh, dad, my, like... my dad was very cool. Like he he spoke seven languages, man, like including Latin. You know, <laughs> this wow. Yeah. Wait, honest, actually, if I can show you something, absolutely, this, you can. This book here was his Latin dictionary. Right. Oh, I'm gonna and, hold on. I want to see it closer. So let me get out. Yep. Yep. So this was his dictionary, right? And if you look inside, you can actually—I don't know whether you can read that. It says, um, "It says Father Pacifico Pacifico de, Ma, de Massa, which is um, was his priest's name, um, and he was ah. from Massa. So you know, he was he was very cool. So he sort of pushed. He 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 was. Quite a wise fellow, you know, in this in this sort of sense. Yeah. Well, I guess that answers my next question. I was to say how long you kind of really been into this, but it sounds like you were born into it. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> well, I did my first. I've always loved the paranormal, mate. Since I can't, I can't even remember when. I love ghosts and monsters, anything unusual. Yeah. But I did my first investigation when I was nineteen, which was 36, thirty-six years ago. So, uh, for those of you listening, he's not as old as he says. He's a liar. I don't want to bullshit you. Uh, he, he's a seasoned he's veteran, surprised. but yeah, you're young at heart. You look great, man. And I tell you, wow, you so you've been doing this a long time. There's not much that really rattles your cage. Oh, I still get rattled. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I still kind of do too. You know what, mate? We know this much. We know this little fingernail in the paranormal. And that's and that's you know, when when you start thinking you know too much, it's when you get knocked on your butt. You, know, so. you get a little bit right. I love when people go, "Oh, he's a paranormal expert." I go, "Okay, what is he, Dan no. Aykroyd? What is he, no. fucking Lon Holzer? Come I, on, guy." I like the term parent. I like the term explorer. Yeah, that's kind of what I like to call myself because yeah. I love haunted shit. But I also go to movie sites or I go to where like yeah, a murder yeah. was committed or maybe I don't know, like like yeah, right. You know, you follow my shit, and I appreciate exactly, that. Exactly, man. Exactly. This this house where I live. We, our house is actually be, there, there was a murder here as well so um we, <laughs> we investigated this house about six years before we we actually bought the place so oh please go into detail we have plenty oh. of time we can go late <laughs> i don't care uh, a, I gentleman, know. A, gentleman, a gentleman owned this whole land around here like 27 acres and um he was found well he was murdered and his wife and family had a new year's eve party um, well, he was dead in the garage, um, and <laughs> and he, uh, but they never worked out. Um, well, we worked out, but they have, uh, you know, that they never, but they never caught the people. That they did. never caught the murderer. Did they suspect the family? They did suspect. They got arrested, but then released. Um, oh my god, yeah, dude! So, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, it was, it's quite sad. He was quite in a bad way when we when we were called in here um and um yeah we helped him and he still comes around now and then wow but, um, yeah but he's oh, yeah, uh, i don't mean to get giddy i mean i can get and i know murder is bad and i don't condone serial killers. terrible it's so but, like i spent the night at lizzie borden's house and it was like ah 
No, I'd love to. I'd love to check that out, man. It'd be so cool. You come down, my brother. I will I get will. you a place to stay, and I will show you everything there's to see in Maine. We'll go to fucking Salem. We'll go to Lizzie's. We'll go to Plymouth Rock. Oh whatever. God. I would love to hang out with you guys, man. Mate, I'd, love to, see. I'd love uh, to head over there, buddy. <laughs> oh, that would be great. Oh, Nicole. Nicole, you're not 50. You kidding me? You look great for your age. This guy's turning 61. Groundhog Day. All right. God nice. bless. <laughs> age is a number, right? Bro- fun, mate. <laughs> That's right. Age is a number, right, brother? Right, Will? That's it, bro. That's it. Um, I don't know if I can handle the energy on Queen Mary, Heather says. Have you been to the Queen? I forget. You said you went to Alcatraz, but. No, I haven't been to the Queen. I want to go. I want to go to the Queen Mary. Uh, the things I've heard or seen about it, you know, just, it's a place you got to be. You know what I mean? So, yeah. You, so you you hit the big spots up worldwide. Um, is there any place you've been in Europe? You've been to Italy? Like, Yeah, well, I, I no, I went to, um, I, I, a friend of mine set up an event for me in um, the UK. We went to, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Whittington Castle. Um, oh, oh Whittington Castle, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, and it was um, it was a small castle on the Welsh English border, and um, we had an event there. We had you know public come and we ran some some good events. We had some good stuff there too. We're um, we're in a, one of the towers, and there's a, you know there's a couple of levels of this tower, and there was a table being dragged across the floor above us. And there was no one up there, so I went up with um, one of my friends there, and yeah, the table had moved, and um, chairs had moved, and. <laughs> Not a you soul know. around. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not a, was, not a it human. Was it was brilliant. You know, we had done. Um, we had some good experiences there, actually. Yeah, wow. some really good contacts. Yeah, wow. So. But you know, England, England, Ireland, Scotland, some great stuff there. Um, I went to Malta before I was investigating, and I, I had a couple of experiences there just in my normal travels. But I haven't. Uh, there's some places there I'd love to go and check out. You know, what wow. I mean? that's and, cool. Um, investigating. But uh, yeah, there's there's the the states. I mean, I'm I'm in love with the states, man. I I could uh, I could move over there anytime. You know what I mean? I tell you, I I when I, growing up, of course, in Maine, Maine's Maine is ninety five percent woods, and it's like eh, no one growing up. It's like oh, nothing happens here. I want to go to Florida, California. Oh but man, now that I'm older and I'm historian. I'm like fuck it. I love Maine. There's pirates. Maine is awesome. Maine. Yeah. Maine is awesome, bro. I I, I read so much. Like, so much like stuff. Oh, Brilliant. I got so much more to share too, and I, and I and I get leery because there's a lot of people out there that steal your shit and they yeah. try to go to these places. Because I do a lot of research, like Amanda. I get of deep. If I, I don't just go, oh, a haunting. I like, oh, okay, what year? Who died? When? Where? When? Why? Where? Why? Why? Yeah, exactly. So exactly. I dig deep, and uh, yeah. man, we got Satan's footprint over here, where the Satan yeah. takes a rock to help a worker, and all yeah. this different shit. Um, I want to go off straight. We got ten minutes. We can go a little over. Um, I like to make this a fun podcast. What do you dig for for music? I'm big into like mm-hmm. metal, and I love the Berserker, and they're from Australia. Have you heard of the Berserker? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, I'm 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 really eclectic, mate. I like all sorts of things, man. I, I go uh, heavy metal to country western to yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, we um, a couple of years back we did uh, we went to Guns and Roses. Took my boys to Guns and Roses. Um, Mandy, Mandy's um loves her music she was a, she was actually a musician she she was a singer um oh. uh heavy metal stuff and heavy yeah. heavy rock that sort of stuff so yeah she's got a really good voice man you know really so like 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 arch enemy otep like kitty like I, I couldn't even tell you man she she's she's um like you know all, all you know the older stuff I mean, she's she's um very eclectic as well, you know what I mean. In, in what she cool. likes, so yeah. So I like. I mean, uh, for me, music music is I, like I can hear a song and I like it, but I couldn't tell you who played it half the time. No, well, okay. You know I mean? Tell me this: if you were to go to YouTube right now and check out a song tonight to listen to, who would you be your first pick? Slipknot? Would it be Led Zeppelin? Would it be maybe fucking Metallica? I don't know. Metallica. Metallica can't go wrong with Metallica. That's, no, no, cool. no, that's right, exactly. But I also like, you know, like, um, what is it? Uh, dis- is it Disturbed or something like that? Is it pretty yeah. wild? Yeah, yeah. nice. Uh, yeah, I like, I like a real, I like a good voice. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, my boys are into like you know the rap and all this sort of stuff, and you know half the time you can't understand what they say. Yeah, but they like it. But you know, for me, if you can understand what they say, 
you know, to me, they tell us a story and, you know, that's what I like. You know? Yeah. I kind of like the band ghost. It's very cliche, but I yeah, like how he, he wears his outfit and he's got the frankincense and myrrh and he just looks satanic, but his he's voice satanic. reminds me of like the beach boys. It's kind of cool. I like it. It's mystical. Yeah. Plus the name, you know, um, that's cool. What are they talking about? Oh, Bron Castle. Yes, Bron Castle. Um, Nicole's been there. Dracula's Castle in Transylvania. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, I had um, I had uh, my friends actually film there. Uh, they did a... Gojira's awesome. What's it? Gojira? Gojira. That's a metal band, too, from... Uh... Oh, okay. Yes. Gojira. Yeah, oh, it's kind of okay. cool. And Mastodon's cool, too. I like Mastodon. I met the drummer. They sing yeah, about yeah. Like, the Loch Ness Monster. And, and, uh... Oh, really? Yeah, they sing about, like, like old school, like... Um... Uh, Willie Mammoths and shit, dinosaurs. It's, yeah, oh, cool. Mastodon. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. Yeah, cool band. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. cool. Um, <laughs> what, what do you guys watch for movies? What's your in a movie night? You obviously you, you probably watch oh, the Conjuring man. type shit, but we love, we, I love a good horror movie, mate. You know, like you know, um, escapism. You know, um, it has to be. It has to be. It has to be a clever, clever. Like you know, it's not. A, I, I'm not really into slashes. You know, it has to be a clever. Horror? Does that make sense? You want some yeah. sort of knowledge behind it, not just I'm gonna stab you. You're dead. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Something. You know, um, something to do with spirits, something like that. But yeah, you know, then we love, you know, love a good comedy as well. So yeah, you know, oh, that's know, cool. It, yeah. it, 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 it's um, you know, now that now the kids are older, they get to they they tend to take over the controls when we're watching a movie. So oh, yeah, <laughs> you know, and whatever the fuck the new generation's into, it's like what? Oh yeah, that was okay. <laughs> nah, it's all good, mate. How about yourself? What are you into? Um, I'm I'm big into um. Well, I met Rob Zombie. Oh yeah, cool. I got my poster cool. all back of me. I met him in 1998 in Lewiston, Maine. I got a backstage awesome. pass. I carved awesome. pumpkins with him in Lewiston. So I watched. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So I watched Devil's Rejects and that's yeah, yeah, and yeah. all that shit. And I try to go. Um, of course, in the states, it's fucking how fallacy land it's hollywood yeah. so there's a lot of movies <laughs> shot here and i try to go i still need to get to heap our um shoot i can't oh uh, i haven't written down but i got a buzz it's by bangor maine stephen king shot pet cemetery the original oh, yeah, 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 there. Yeah. Hancock, cool. hancock maine and i want to get there and i guess the truck that kills gage in the beginning the big semi is still there and some junk oh, and it says it says this semi was used in Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. I said, "Why is that not in a fucking museum?" You <laughs> exactly. know what I mean. So, yeah, I'm, I'm constantly looking for for movie stuff. I love yeah anything and everything. But now that I'm getting older, especially now in the field, I want to concentrate on real shit. I yeah. like stuff that's based on real shit. The Bell yep. Haunting, yep. Annabelle, yep. Um, yep. Robert the Doll. I just bought Robert the Doll movie. You've heard you've yeah, heard of Robert yeah, yeah. the Doll, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I like it when it's when they when they're you know based on true, but they're actually based on true. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, that's what I like. I hate when they um. I've seen some movies where they're based on true events, but then they're completely like you know. There's one bit that's true, and the rest of us all, <laughs> it's, you know, yeah. It's a. I like it when it's real. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Close, oh, it's the Exorcist, uh, the Staircase Exorcist. Yes, Georgetown. Well, there's one in New yeah, York that'd too. Be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, that would be cool. There's one in New York too, I think. But um, so let's see. How long have you been the director of the Australian? Are you guys actually own that and run that, or are you just a member? Yeah. No, no, wow. we own it. We, we, um, oh, that's been around probably 13, 14 years now. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, the group was actually started by a group of people, um, and most of them sort of wandered off within a within a month or so you know to do their own things and um and so we were left we were there and we we said yeah okay well we'll take it over so we just took it over and have run it how we want it um and you know we, we as you know we you know we're pretty much down to earth um we try to be as, <clears throat> be as down to earth as possible um you know show respect and that to everyone so yeah. you know and spread, uh, you know, build the community, build the parallel. Sounds like you guys do home cases too. I mean, yeah. obviously you do fun, but like you say, you try to help people and cleanse yeah. people, which I think a lot of people, honestly, dude, in my opinion, 85% of people just want to go on the weekend trip. They don't actually want to help course. people. No, well, I mean, I mean, that's, under, I mean, I can understand that as well. They're, they're, you know, a lot of people just like the investigating side of things, you know, um, uh, going out and trying to gather evidence um you know and and they find that interesting you know I, what i don't like is when people go and they're you know they're on site and they're drinking and they're you know they're being 
it, it, they're treating it like it's a it's a game, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, but as, as you said, you know, you can get injured, you can get hurt, man. You know, you can get hurt doing this stuff. You know, especially, um, especially if you've got a pretty strong spur around you. Know, they can, and if you they act can like a fool like that, and they feel disrespected, they'll cling on to you and your friends. So you put yourself and other people in danger. Oh, yeah. so now you're the asshole. Yeah. Oh, exactly. You know, but um, I don't mind. You, know, you finish your finish your investigation, then go off and have your drink and do what you want. But while you while while you're investigating, you know, show respect. But um, but yeah, some people, most a lot of people don't. They just want to. They just want to do the investigation. And that's absolutely fair enough. But if you're going to go into someone's house and do that, let them know that you can't help them to get rid of the spirit, but you can try to find out what it is. You know what I mean? Don't so, pretend to be what you're not. I exactly. exactly. Don't, don't go into a dentist's office going, "I'm going to pull your teeth today." I don't have a fucking <laughs> diploma, but I'm going to think. You know what I mean? Right. And, and it's it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> right. Like you said, there's no harm, no foul in having the fun yeah. part of it. But yeah. don't go, don't tell people you're going to help them if you really don't know yeah. how to. There's people exactly. you can reach out to. There's the Warren Legacy. There's big dogs out there that, like you said, even you guys in your area, Australian Paranormal Society. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which reminds me, we got a couple of minutes left. You want to plug anything? Uh, I've been plugging it, but I want you to, to do your thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyone, anyone that wants to, um, you know, we're, we're over here in Australia, obviously. You guys have got a lot of people over there, but you're welcome to, to hit us up with any questions. Um, Jump in our pages, um, you know, the Australian Paranormal Society and uh, Haunted Old and Beautiful by Amanda APS. We have a couple of smaller pages as well. But, you know, jump on, say good day, ask us any questions. Um, if you've got any questions about the locations around Australia, let us know. We can, you know, we can give you what we've got um, and chat about it. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, just simply we're open, you know. Um, have a look at our books if you want. We do, um, we do some events and things as well. If you're over in Australia, let us know. So uh, we'll, uh, yeah, look forward to having a chat to some, some of you guys out there. Awesome. Everybody in chat was <laughs> awesome. This hour flew by. Um, we can go about about five, we can go about another three minutes, so we're going to end it real quick. But um, no thank you, everybody in chat. Uh, Bring my best to Amanda and, of course, the kiddos. Thanks, Thanks for having me, brother. Thank you. Um, and everyone on there, thank you very much. That was amazing. I'll get all this um, downloaded on YouTube. I'll send you the hard copy. This Thanks, copy man. itself will be all ready to go, but I'm going to download it on YouTube. Beautiful. And uh, I'll get Amanda on my talk. I notice a lot of people that even like I'm getting Eric Vitel from Nesper, Tony Sparrow's group. He doesn't yeah. want to do the vodcast. He wants to do audio only on my phone next week. Oh, really? It's in two weeks. So a lot of people do talk more when it's not fish. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Some people okay. like that. Some people like that. Yeah. Yeah, and and that's so fine. I'll get her back on. But I'm glad you get to promote your books. Um, oh, nice. This will be up and this will be up on Facebook. Everybody listening, the hard copy will be up tomorrow on YouTube. Beautiful. But you can go back and watch this later. Um, Bill William Tabone, Australian Paranormal Thanks, Society. Man. Thanks, brother. Thank you for having me on. I uh, I mean it when I say you come to the states, you come down to Maine. Please, please, please. I if you. I see you in Salem and you haven't hit me up, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> you come looking for me. Um, I will. I know it'll be easy to find. No one's gonna beard like that down here. That's right. Um, <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> so, <laughs> give my best to, to uh, the misses. Um, I will. Mate. I will. You mate. know, I know her dad. I mean, that's. Oh, I don't want to talk about that. But anyway, right. Heather says thank you. Great show. Thanks, um, Heather. Thanks, John. John, good evening. Great show. Have a great oh, evening, you. guys. Nicole. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Australia is great. Um, it's great. We'll check it out. Come on down and uh, say good day. <laughs> yeah, like I said earlier, uh, Heather mentioned earlier, Nathaniel, our friend Nathaniel Elwell is a big barbecue guy. She goes, Nathaniel's going to cook some shrimp on the barbie. That's the second oh, time I heard that. <laughs> you're going to have that. I'll show you, guy. You know, you're going to fucking hear that at least once in chat. <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. Man, thank you for being such an, a knowledgeable person, a good sport. You, I felt the bond, man. Thanks, buddy. Oh, definitely. You you know, you, you've always been, you know, you're, you're a good guy. You're always been respectful to us, man. And well, you know, we appreciate that and and uh, love you for it. So, uh, you know, hey, brother. <laughs> love it. Awesome. Hey, uh, it's fucking like 1 p.m. in Australia, so it's like 9 o'clock in here. But go enjoy the no rest worries. of your day. Thanks, bud. We'll have you back again soon. Uh, Built a Bone, uh, Australian Paranormal Society and Haunted, Thanks, Old, and Beautiful by Amanda APS. Have a great day, everybody.